other chemical method I've used. The advantages of the system is it's the safety aspect is first and foremost of the system. Uh, simplicity uh, to the user uh, is secondly uh, most important in my mind. Uh, in other words, there's no training for adding chemicals to the system, uh, no dispensing systems or anything like that, just, just plain tap water. It's without any chemicals. You don't have to worry about chemicals. I don't have to purchase any chemicals. Large companies like Neiman Marcus and Costco have used EC water as their best practice for cleaning their stores. Uh, we're also seeing it in, used widely in the Target stores. What I really enjoy with this process, or what I love about this process, is that uh, it can go in so many different areas. It can replace so many different chemicals, and it can save a lot of money, and it's so incredible for the environment. It's, if we think of green as, as the best, I think we are there. And you can't get any greener than water. Sure, Tenet's giant scrubbing machines can clean a corporation's floors. But will the day come when you can use electrically charged water to clean your home? Stay with us. We'd like to hear from you and what you think about the American Health Journal. Any topic suggestions or comments about our doctors, email us from our website, thedoctorshow.com, or call 1-800-303-3200. These giant machines can clean up after a Timberwolves basketball game and scour the halls of schools. But will electrically charged water ever have a role in your home? Actually, the day of applying EC water technology to homes is already here. Tenant has licensed this technology to a company called Active Ion. And what they've done is place the electronics, electrolytic cell, within a spray bottle. So it also takes tap water and converts it into a powerful cleaning detergent that you can use in your home to clean your kitchen surfaces and other hard surfaces in your home. The average American, as they went in their cabinets at home, they would find 20 different types of chemistry that they used to clean. If you think back to two generations ago and our grandparents, uh, there may have been three different chemistries, a vinegar, a bleach, and an ammonia to clean the home. And I think the evolution is back toward those type of basics, using converted water and mechanical action to accomplish the, what chemistry is doing today. Jay Hare sees many other uses for ionized water coming online. In hospitals in Japan, one of the common uses uh, is for hand sterilization. Um, you know, I think today in America we see the, you know, the, the waterless sanitizer all over. And in Japan, if you go and look in hospitals, you'll find um, small machines, ionizers, that are specifically designed to create a steriliz sterilization level uh, alteration in the water, and that's what they clean their hands with. The sterilizing or antimicrobial properties of the water are so strong that it, uh, there's verifiable uh, scientific evidence that it kills E. coli, salmonella on contact. So when you factor that into your thinking, the uses for the water just become, you know, so wide and so varied, um, looking at medical applications and food processing, um, produce. Uh, there's a large grocery chain, for example, that just signed a $35 million contract to employ uh, low pH acidic water in their sprayers that miss the produce in the, uh, in the supermarkets. There's a, a company that's making uh, space cleaning uh, uh, ionizers for use in, uh, say, hotels. Uh, that got a bit of press in the L.A. Times recently. Tenant is a traditional industrial company that's making the leap to a green way of doing things. After reviewing our strategic direction at Tenant, we really focused on being a, a chemically free oriented company. Uh, we feel that the technology, the marketplace, and planet Earth are really ready for that, that evolution. It just feels great to do something like this and to be part of it. In all my years at Tenant, this has been absolutely the most exciting project and absolutely the most um, feel-good project. And I can go home at night with a big smile on my face knowing that uh, it's, good for, it's good for everyone it's, and it's good for my daughter. I think the future of, of ionized water is, is uh, limitless. Um, the commercial applications uh, for anybody who looks at the science behind it are innumerable. 
um, the need for it in our society, especially here in the United States, um, is very great. And I think that what we'll see over the next couple of years is this technology become more and more mainstream, both in terms of commercial use and home residential use for drinking. And that's this special water edition of the American Health Journal. To learn more about these new ways water is being put to work, you can go to the Ion Ways website at ironways.com. To see more about how Tenant is using tap water to scrub floors, go to tenantco.com. We're glad you could join us. Until next time, I'm Roger Cooper.